We're right now on the original field of where the concert happened. To the left down there is where the stage was. Our photo was taken approximately up where these tents are. We didn't know that the photo was taken, and but that's a, a pose that you can see Bobby and I form every morning. And every night before we go to bed. Yeah. We've been together 50 years this past Memorial Day weekend, married 48. Nick was a college student working two jobs. I worked at the bank, and the $18 ticket for three days was a little steep for us. So we really hadn't planned on going. The Friday night of the concert, when we're sitting on my porch and we're listening to WALL and all the commotions. It's just great, everybody who was up there feels great about the it. The traffic, the people, the scenes that were going on. Their music is loud and they dress weirdly and smoke pot. He was so ramped up and he said, We can't accept more people. Please don't come. Buy the records or go to the next concert, but don't come here. We were 20, we had to go. We all met about 8 o'clock the next morning, and we got the essentials, the beer, the wine, and whatever, and five of us jumped into um, my good friend Jim Corcoran, who we called Corky. He borrowed his mother's 1965 Chevrolet Impala station wagon. We got as far as we could, and then there was a troop state police uh, car blocking the road, so we couldn't get by that. And there was a young man sitting on the hood of the trooper car, and he was wearing um, blue jeans, no shirt, and moccasins, and he was smoking a joint. And we're looking at each other going, what the heck is going on here? We really had no idea what to expect. In fact, our intention was to come up, check it out, and be back home so I could go to mass the next day. When I was supposed to be attending mass, the picture was taken. Proof that I did not go to mass. We came in and connected with this young man named Herbie. He was on a very, very bad trip. He hadn't, he lost his friends, he had no idea where he was. We being us, put our arms around him and we took Herbie with us uh, until he could uh, find himself. Our friend Corky, he was a Marine. He had recently been in Vietnam. He had just gotten out of the service several months before. He is also in the picture of us and he's on the ground laying under Herbie's army blanket, sound asleep. Our dear friend Corky passed away in September and we miss him very, very much. When did you first see the photo? Right after the album came out because our friend Corky had to have that album the day it came out. Somebody mentioned, hey, take a look at the front of it. And it was like, whoa. We were pretty excited, but you know, by then, Woodstock was over. Up until around the 20th anniversary, I think, that's when people started uh, reflecting back and looking at Woodstock a little differently. When I look at that picture and I see Corky laying on the ground next to us, it's almost like an oxymoron. Here we are, the couple that has come to symbolize the festival, and here's our Marine, our Vietnam veteran, laying next to us. I mean, it's just peace and love and our Marine. I am just very thankful and I feel very grateful that I have been able to share this experience with the man I've loved for 50 years. I am so happy and thankful to be a little part of the whole Woodstock experience. I think the further I get away from the event, the more I realize what a phenomenal thing it was. All those people under less than perfect circumstances and it was filled with peace and love and no violence. This world needs more Woodstock. Mm -hmm.